What do I do after a diagnosis of vascular dementia? There are several things to consider in the early stages of vascular dementia. Risk reduction and management, treatment, and preparation. First, risk reduction and management. You will want to manage the vascular conditions that caused it in the first place. It is important to prevent further issues with the brain's blood supply that would make the condition even more complicated. This involves medications to help with health conditions like blood pressure and lifestyle changes like a healthier diet and increased exercise. Next, treatment. While there is no cure for vascular dementia, this doesn't mean that there are not ways to help people live with it. With appropriate treatments, worsening of symptoms can be potentially avoided or slowed down. Without the appropriate treatment, however, worsening of symptoms is guaranteed. Treatment may involve medication to help with mood, thinking, and bodily functions, talk therapy to help with emotions, and working with various rehabilitation therapists to manage and compensate for short-term and long-term symptoms. For example, speech-language pathologists can work on cognitive and communication exercises for maintaining language and memory abilities for as long as possible. They can also help a person find ways to communicate and remember their routines using visuals, alternative communication, and assistive technology. Occupational therapists can provide training and materials to help a person continue safely doing everyday activities and routines that are important to their health and quality of life. They can also help with environmental safety and organization. Finally, preparation. Planning for future needs is crucial as the disease may progress. In the later stages, individuals with vascular dementia will face significant challenges, including severe memory loss and difficulties with mobility, eating, and bodily functions. They will require full-time care to ensure their safety and well-being. It's important to consider options for caregiving, whether through family members, professional caregivers, or assisted living facilities. Legal and financial planning, such as setting up a living will or power of attorney, should also be addressed early to ensure the person's wishes are followed and to reduce stress on the family later on. It is important for a person with dementia and their loved ones to advocate for them to receive the help and services that they need. This will help them maintain their quality of life, overall wellness, safety, and independence for as long as possible.